Hi everyone, in this video we're going to prove that this piecewise function is differentiable for every real number x, so for all x in the set of real numbers. Let's go ahead and go through it, so proof. So the easy part is to mention that it's differentiable uh, if x is not equal to 0. So note that if x is not equal to 0, then using the definition of the piecewise function, then in this case f of x is equal to x squared times the sine of 1 over x. And this is differentiable because it is a product of differentiable functions. So is differentiable, differentiable, because it is the product of differentiable functions. So it's kind of just an observation, but an important one, because it is the product of differentiable functions. And we're really not expected um, to prove that each factor in this product um, is differentiable. It's kind of assumed. Um, so it's not really the main goal of this problem. So it's a product of differentiable functions, hence it's also differentiable. The important part of this problem is to prove that it's differentiable uh, at x equals 0. So to do that, we'll use the de definition of the derivative. So I'm going to write that up here on the top left corner. So recall that f is differentiable at c, and we write that as f prime of c. Uh, if the following limit exists, so we take the limit as x approaches c of f of x minus f of c, all divided by x minus c. So if this limit exists, then we say the function is differentiable, and we call the result of this limit the derivative of the function, right? That's the definition of the derivative. You can also use the alternate definition with the x plus h, but let's go ahead and use this one in this problem. So in this problem, we have to show that this limit exists when c is equal to 0, right? Because we want to show it's differentiable at 0. So let's consider this limit. So consider the limit as x approaches 0 of f of x minus, and then it's f of 0 because our c is 0, and on the bottom we have x minus 0. Okay, let's keep going. This is equal to the limit as x approaches 0. So f of x, well, when you're taking a limit x as x approaches 0, x is not equal to 0. I don't know if you remember the definition of a limit. Um, the if part had something like this, x minus c less than delta, and the actual definition of a limit and you'll notice that x can't be equal to c here, because if it is, you would get 0 less than 0. So x is not equal to c. In this case, x is not equal to 0. So that's important, because that tells us that we use this piece here for f of x. So it's x squared sine of 1 over x. So that's the reason that we use that piece, because in the definition of a limit, x is not actually equal to the number you're approaching, right? It's just really, really close to it, but not equal to it. Minus f of 0, well, that's just 0, again, by definition, right? When x is equal to 0, our function is equal to 0. And on the bottom, we have uh, x minus 0. So this is equal to the limit as x approaches 0 of x squared times the sine of 1 over x all over x. Okay, and then we can cancel uh, one of the uh, x's. So this is equal to the limit as x approaches 0 of x times the sine of 1 over x. And now we just have to show that uh, this limit uh, exists. And it does, and it's equal to 0. So, And it's very easy to prove, and we'll do it with the squeeze theorem. So note, if we just look at the sine of 1 over x, I'll do it in pieces. We know sine is bounded by 1. That means it's less than or equal to 1 and greater than or equal to negative 1. 
Now here we have x times the sine of 1 over x. So multiplying everything by x, we have minus x less than or equal to x sine of 1 over x less than or equal to x. And now we can use the squeeze theorem. So since we take the limit, or let me just say note, note again, <laughs> if you take the limit of the left-hand side, so this piece here, well, you can just plug in 0, so you get negative 0, so it's 0. And if you take the limit of the right-hand piece of the inequality, you also get 0. So we have the following three conditions. We have that this function here is bounded by x. We have that this piece here goes to 0. This piece here goes to 0. So this goes to 0. This goes to 0. Therefore, by the squeeze theorem, what's trapped in the middle, that also goes to 0. So to say it formally, I'll just say thus. By the squeeze theorem, squeeze THM, our limit is equal to 0. So this means, so what did we show? This means that the limit as x approaches 0 of f of x minus f of 0, let's reiterate what we did over x minus 0, we said that this is 0. So this means that f is differentiable, right? Because the limit exists. It's equal to a number, so the limit exists. That means that f is differentiable at x equals 0. And furthermore, f prime of 0 is actually equal to 0. So we've shown that f is differentiable for every single real number, and that completes the proof. So I hope this video has helped someone out there uh, who's learning how to write proofs. Uh, if it's helped, leave a comment, subscribe, like, all of that good stuff. Thanks for watching. Take care.